from my point of view, it's the opportunity to, you know, hang out with champions and uh, and, and uh, guys from different disciplines. Um, you can watch all this on television, but to actually come and share the time and hang out in the locker room, which sounds a bit weird, I know, but the camaraderie is, is something that I think that makes Race of Champions really special. Now this, for me, I came from motocross background and like kind of my first opportunities to drive against some of the world's greatest drivers was at Race of Champions, going to, um, you know, when they started it at Canary Islands and then going to, uh, you know, shoot, Wembley Stadium, all these cool places. Got to go to Germany and went head to head against Sebastian Vettel, who had just won the F1 championship in Germany. I've never been booed so loud in my life. And it was it was so wow. fun because we're back and uh, like, here, we're playing ping pong. There's like six F1 uh, world championships. There's, uh, you know, nine uh, rally cross world championships. And heck, Sebastian Loeb has nine just with himself. And he's over there and you got all the kids and everybody's hanging out. And well, the kids from 50 to, to five. And it's just this amazing, atmosphere of the most competitive individuals you'd ever meet. Well, yeah, it's definitely called it ice bass, uh, dog sledding. No, at the end of the day, the coolest part about here is that, um, you know, it's usually race champions favors the F1 drivers, you know, it favors the guys that are very, that are very precise coming from a motocross background, coming from a rally background. We get out here and it puts uh, even guys like Sebastian Vettel, you know, he's coming in, he's like, man, I'm, I'm way more backwards than I've ever been. I, I guess this is how it works. And um, it's cool to see everyone in their element or out of their element or in different vehicles. And this just, I think it multiplies the margin of error um, so that there are more opportunities for guys like me to get in there and mix it up. Yeah, I think so. The, uh, you know, this is not my domain at all. I had never drifted and done all that sort of stuff until this time last year. You know, I'd done that driving experience with AMG in a road car, which is fun, but it's not competitive lights out, you know, go up against someone that's a rally cross champion or, or, or you know, rally champion or whatever it is. But the, the, the format, because it's such a short lap, even if you would expect to be beaten, you're only beaten by a margin that makes it look like you're actually quite quite competitive. So I think that format is exciting for the, the spectators. And occasionally you just, you hook it up and surprise yourself. You know, I went up against Perez Olberg in Barbados in the rally cross car twice and, and beat him twice. And I have no idea. And, and he's got no idea how that happened. But, you know, sometimes it just works and sometimes not. When you're in the car and the lights go out, you're just in the moment of what you're doing. Of course, you're aware when you're you know, in a stadium of the crowd, when you're on a Grand Prix track, you can sense the spectators there, but you're, you're driving for the moment. You're not, you're not driving to, to show vote because you've got to focus on your braking, your apexes and all that sort of stuff. But it's great to see people coming here and standing in the cold and being so enthusiastic. You're really not a big fan of the cold, are you? No, no. <laughs> no that's, I, that's why I've, I grew up in Scotland, but I've lived 26 years in the south of France. You know, I'm, I'm more of a sun person. Yeah. <laughs> Here, everything is visible. All your mistakes are very obvious and very clear, which yeah. is uh, which is tough, especially because you don't have much time in the cars. Where normally you're, like when I get in my rally car, or my rally cross car, I know exactly where everything is. I know what it's gonna do before it does it. When I come out here, I almost stalled three times on trying to figure out the downshift and then the, like just, and you only have two laps to, to really get used to these. So it's um, it, it does make more mistakes. Everyone who comes here doing the, the, let's say, the bread and butter of the job in terms of doing the press conference, you know, or meeting the fans and things like that. And then just allowing you to enjoy the weekend. You know, everyone is coming here to, you know, support Race of Champions, not because this is their main career, it's because it's fun. And as long, and I've always maintained, as long as the fun element is there, yes, there's a serious part, everyone would like to win it, but the fun is what brings us all back and uh, long may that continue.